to money. Taking off for the perfect summer vacation can be pricey, with several airlines promising the best deal. I can check baggage and so it's a lot more convenient. There seems to be a lot of flexibility, especially when it comes to needing to change your flights. Now, Allegiant Air is taking on low-price leader Southwest and the hometown U.S. Airways. We'll have to fly out of Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, but I found some incredible deals. Check this out. Allegiant has fares to Las Vegas for just $39.99 each way. That's nearly half the price of Southwest or U.S. Airways. But look a little closer before you get excited. The Southwest ticket is all-inclusive, meaning it includes two 50-pound bags, a carry-on, basic drink, and food. U.S. Airways allows a carry-on, but charges $25 for the first checked bag and $35 for the second. Allegiant, on the other hand, is a la carte. The price just includes the flight. Everything else is extra. For our Vegas trip, traveling June 2nd to June 7th, our total cost on Southwest Airlines is $141.80. U.S. Airways will cost you about 30 bucks more for the flight. Add in the baggage fees and your total cost jumps to $290. At about 80 bucks for the airfare, Allegiant Air looks like a winner, hands down. But don't forget, we have a lot of fees to consider. You get one free personal item as long as it fits under your seat. Otherwise, you'll pay anywhere from $10 if you prepay to $35 at the airport. It's another 15 bucks each way for each check bag. We're going to pass on the snacks since they range from $2 to $13. Add it all up and that $80 trip to Vegas quickly doubled, nearly 160 bucks. How about San Francisco? Both Southwest and U.S. Airways fly to San Francisco. Allegiant flies less than 20 minutes away into Oakland. We checked prices for flights leaving Phoenix on August 2nd and returning August 9th. Southwest and U.S. Airways are each about $312, but baggage fees tack on another $120 for U.S. Airways. Again, a lot of fees with Allegiant, $105.96 to be exact. Still, they beat Southwest by more than $38. We compare several more fees between the three airlines, and in most cases, Allegiant starts off with the best price, at least on airfare. It's the fees that will kill your wallet. Another downside, Allegiant doesn't fly to as many cities or major airports as Southwest or U.S. Airways. Still, if the airport isn't a big deal and you don't have any bags, you can save a lot flying Allegiant. If you're checking bags, Southwest was our overall winner. My advice, always price compare and make sure to look at the total cost of your trip, not just airfare. Look at things like baggage fees. They'll make a big difference. I'll have more details of our price comparison posted on our website. Just head over to abc15.com smartshopper. I'm Daphne Monroe, your smart shopper.